This is so awkward. What do I even want to say? <laughs> do you have to do this now? Hey guys, my name is Ryan and I'm back with another video. This video is going to be a little different, but I'm hoping it's going to be a lot of fun because I'm going to be doing a vlog. So this is my first ever vlog and I thought that because it's the first one, I would vlog something that I'm really looking forward to and that is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I actually read this whole series back in high school and I remember really loving it, but I remember absolutely nothing about what happened. I remember that I hated Mal, I remember there was a deer at one point, and I do remember the Darkling. And I know that the main girl has like sun powers. <laughs> But other than that, that's really all I got. But this book actually has a TV show coming out soon, I think in like April or so, and I'm really excited for that and I want to read all of the books in this universe before that show comes out. And because I feel like I should point this out, because I am reading a specific book for a specific purpose to watch the TV show, there will be spoilers in this vlog. Before I begin, for anyone who doesn't know, this series is about a girl in a world that is based on like Russian folk Lore, and there are these people called Grishas that have magic powers and there is this girl named Alina and one day something happens where she is attacked and she learns that she has magic powers so then she is taken to join the Grisha. With that I am so excited to read this book so let's get into the vlog. Hey everyone so I just started Shadow and Bone and I'm only a couple chapters into it. I'm about I'm about that far into it. I think I'm at page like 34 is where I am and so far I'm really liking it. It's really fast paced so far and I'm really liking our main character. It feels like one of those like nostalgic YA fantasy series that I remember from when I was in high school. But I just wanted to check in and let you guys know where I'm at and I am really looking forward to seeing how some things are handled in the TV show when that comes out. One thing that I really wanted to mention was that I completely forgot that our main character Alina begins the story as a cartographer. She's a map maker. But I thought that was cool. I think they could do a lot of stuff like aesthetically in the show if they keep that in the show. I'm imagining sort of working it into the TV show's intro, sort of how Game of Thrones had that map intro with the theme music. I think if they wanted to, they could do something similar. I think that would be so cool. Another thing I wanted to talk about is that I just got to the part where there was this Volcra attack and I just wanted to bring up that I'm really excited to see how these monster things look in the show because in my opinion they're not really described very well. I'm kind of just imagining these like weird scary winged monster things but in my head they kind of look like a weird cross between pterodactyls and the weird like fury monster from the lightning thief movie and i don't think that that's what lee bardugo had in mind so i'm excited to see what the show does with it and how these things actually look hey everyone so i'm home now i just clocked out of work for the day and my body hurts but i read more of shadow and bone i'm i think at the end of chapter 10 so i think i'm at like page 150 or so and i'm still liking it it's slowing down a little bit but i've met genya and so far i really like her i think she's my favorite character so far so far there's not really anybody that i'm disliking except i'm not a big fan of mal right now but i think he might grow on me as the series goes on other than that i really like the darkling i like the power that he has over like the other grishas and I like his dynamic where he's very intimidating. I think that's a really interesting antagonist. Because I've read the books before, I do know that he's the villain. And now that I'm rereading the books, even though I don't really remember anything from when I first read them, I can kind of see that the Darkling being the villain is like the most obvious plot twist ever, right? Like he's literally called the Darkling. He has shadow powers. <laughs> like, yeah, this guy's the villain. Other than that, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, maybe I'll read more later on, maybe not, but I'll catch you guys later. 
Hey guys, so it's a couple of days later and I'm now about like a little over halfway through Shadow and Bone and I am so excited for this show to come out. Um, I don't think this book is like a new favorite of mine or anything. Like I'm having some issues with it. Like it's very like, it's very indicative of the time it came out. Like it's very like not like other girls tropey and like that type of thing. It's not like a new favorite of mine or anything right now. I'm still not quite attached to the, all the characters, but I'm still interested in the story and I think it's very much going to be... Sorry, the mailman just walked up. He scared me. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, so I think right now it's very much like a first book in the series. It's like setting up the world, setting up the characters. So I'm excited to see where it goes from here. I've just reached the part where she got her powers and I think it's really cool. I can't wait to see how they do that in the show and how everything looks. I really like the dynamic between her and the Darkling where he's got like shadow powers and she's got like light powers. I think that's going to be really cool aesthetically when watching the show. I also really love Bagra. I love like mentor characters, especially when they really push the character and they're really strict. I didn't remember this from when I read the books the first time, but this actually is a magic system that has rules. It's not the Grishas making their own magic, right? They work with the world around them and the atoms and the air and stuff like that. I'm not really the type of person that needs magic systems with rules in my books. Like, I like it when it's there, but I also like magic systems without rules. I think it kind of really just depends on the book. So, but I do like to see magic systems with rules um, when they're present and I think they're really interesting. And I think that's a really interesting part of the book. So I'm liking it. I also met Zoya and I don't really have any thoughts on her yet, except that it just, right now her character is that type of character that we got a lot in like the early 2000s or like 2010s YA fantasy where there was always like the pretty girl that the main character hated and she's kind of that character in this first book right now and yeah I'm probably gonna read a little bit more today and I'll let you guys know my thoughts eventually but I'll see you guys later. Hey guys so I've read more of Shadow and Bone today. I actually read a pretty big chunk today because I felt like nothing was happening for a while, and then in the chunk that I read today, everything happened. <laughs> so much went down in what I read today. I read all the way from when she's at that, like, festival thing, and she has to show off her powers in front of the queen with the Darkling, and that was really cool. Can't wait to see that in the show. I think that's gonna look so cool. And now she found out that the Darkling is the villain, which even though is... I personally think is a really predictable twist. I think she kind of believed Bagra a little too easily, and I think it also kind of happened a little too quickly, considering she was literally just, like, making out with him in, like, the previous chapter, and then she learns that he's the villain, and she's like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so now she's on the run. Also, Mal's back, and plot twist, I really like Mal. I remember reading these books in high school and not liking Mal at all and I'm not like I'm still not like the number one member of the Mal fan club but I'm liking him a lot more than I remember liking him and I like this relationship that they have where they're like kind of sharing their old childhood memories and they had that break after they almost got caught and they were kind of just laughing and it felt very carefree and easy and it was just a nice feeling a nice little scene and I enjoyed that but besides that I'm pretty much almost done with the book I think I'm probably gonna finish it tomorrow and the other thing though is I really am excited to see what the stag is gonna be like I know they released like the footage of what it looks like in the teaser that they released but I'm excited because how are they gonna get that thing's antlers on her neck <laughs> If the whole thing's supposed to be, like, this, like, necklace for her, for her amplifier. That thing looked huge in the teaser. I want to see how they're going to get that onto her neck. I think it's going to be awesome. But, yeah, I'm really liking the book so far. Um, I'm almost done with it, and I think I'll finish it tomorrow. And I'll let you guys know what I think. So I'll see you then. Okay, so I was trying to think of fun things that we could do for the vlog. And I was thinking, I can't go anywhere because pandemic. 
What if I did my nails to match the cover? Let me show you what I mean. So I was thinking, like, see, here's the cover. Also, peep my glasses. I don't really have, like, a matte gray that kind of matches the cover, but I have this, like, dark gray that's got some, like, silvery stuff in it, so I could try that. But then I also have a black and a red. And it's not like a total match, but I mean, I think it'll be fun. So yeah, I'll check back in with you guys and I'll show you how my nails went. All right, so I did my nails and I'm not a nail artist by any means, so they're very messy. So I'll have to fix them up tomorrow when they're dry. But this is kind of what I went with. So I have like the gray and the black and then on my ring finger, it's kind of messy, but I try to do like how the font on the title has the little like red line going through it. So I try to do that and it turned out like okay for my first time doing something like that. But yeah, so I think they're kind of cute. Do you think they're cute? She doesn't care. So update, it is not even 30 seconds later and I have already managed to mess up my thumb. I don't know if you can see it, but that's how today's going. Hey guys, so I just clocked out of work and it is snowing, but I only have one tiny little chapter left of Shadow and Bone. I'm right at the very end and I'm really liking it. I'm still liking it. And I like Mal? Who am I? But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna finish it at home and I'll let you guys know later what my final thoughts are. Okay, so it's a few days later. Actually, it's a lot of days later. And I have finished reading Shadow and Bone. And here are my final thoughts. I think I'm giving it a 3 out of 5 stars. Um, it's not that I disliked it. It didn't really do anything wrong. It's just that... It's just not one of like my new favorites. I'm not constantly thinking about it and I'm not really attached to the characters yet, but I do see it as a series that's going to continue to grow with each book. So I do plan on continuing and I still do really want to watch the show. I'm also really excited to see how the characters in Shadow and Bone develop over the course of the series. Right now, I think my favorite characters are Genya, and I really like Mal. I'm not sure if he's a favorite yet, but I really like him a lot more than I remember liking him in high school. And I really do like Alina as well. I think she's a really good protagonist. I have a feeling that we're going to see a lot of development with her throughout the series. So I'm excited to kind of see where that goes. And I just really think, I know I've talked about this a lot, but I really think the Darkling is a really good villain and I'm excited to see how dark he can really get. Aside from that, I'm also excited to just see kind of the aesthetics of it all. I think the aesthetics and the balance between Alina's light powers and the Darkling's shadow powers and just the snowy visuals and everything is something that is really going to look really cool in the TV show, so I'm excited to see how they handle that. And overall, I did like this book. It's a fun story. I'm excited to see how the characters go from here, but it is very much a first book, and it's not really a new favorite of mine or anything, and honestly, some parts of it have kind of faded from my memory, even in just the past couple of days. So for that, I am giving it about three stars. But yeah, so with it, that's the end of the video, and that's the end end of my first ever vlog, but I kind of just wanted to do something simple just to kind of test the waters and see if this is something that I would like to do in the future. But that is all that I have for you today. Hopefully I'll see you again with another video soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also don't forget to smile. Bye!